Well, Staples Motley football has rolled through the competition on the way to an 8-0 regular season record, beating opponents by an average of 26 points per game and earning them a top 10 ranking in Class 2A. Tomorrow marks the start of the postseason for the Cardinals, and reporter Miles Walker tells us how they're prepping for a run through Section 6-2A. After falling in the section championship to Osakis last year, the Cardinals have hit 2024 with a chip on their shoulders. And after a 47-7 season opening win over Frazee, the boys have been off to the races since. Well, we don't like losing. Losing's not fun, and we, um, this summer, after that season, we worked hard this summer, lifted, went to camps, just got better as a group, and now we came out and we're kind of showing that we're the team now. For the Cardinals, their prowess starts in the trenches. With 2023 All-District Mid-Northwest Central O and D lineman Steven Petrich, helping set the tone in the ground game. I mean, I love hitting people. That's what it comes down to. It's a great game and it's great playing with your brothers out there. We can smash them in the mouth when we have to and we can run outside when that's open. And another player reaping the benefits is junior quarterback Eli Rutten, tossing 13 tutties so far. Having a great line is awesome. I've had a ton of time in the pocket to step up and make some good throws. Them giving me a time to allow our offense to flow and work a lot better for sure. And they open up a lot of space for us. Pair that high-flying offense with a defense that has recorded three shutouts on the year, and the Cardinals have shown a recipe for success. Winning the turnover battle has always been a big thing for us this year. We're trying to force a lot of turnovers and take care of the football. We've done pretty well at that this year, and it's shown. Staples Motley football finished 0-9 in 2022, allowing just under 45 points a game. But a lot can change in two years, and today they sit at 8-0 allowing just under eight points a game and even earning a first round bye as they await Monaga tomorrow afternoon. With losing as much as we did a couple years ago, we have to flip that mindset that we can go out and win. That's the biggest thing, getting these guys hyped up every game and making sure that they know we have the capabilities to win every game. Reporting in Staples, Miles Walker, Lakeland News. And here's that game tomorrow. Staples Motley taking on Monaga at 2 p.m. Those two teams have not played yet this season. Okay, interesting. Thanks, Charlie. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.